everyone. All right, everybody, that was an update from Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. Pools and gyms reopen tomorrow, and with the temperatures heating up here in Arizona, it already technically feels like summer, so that is very welcome news for a lot of people. If you were to head to fox10phoenix.com right now, you would see it's currently 94 degrees outside. I've had somebody on standby for a long time, and I certainly want to thank her for her patience and understanding. Everybody, this is Hunter Davis, and she's got a story for us as craft distilleries turn to making hand sanitizer in hopes of making up for lost revenue. Experts predict the industry is in for a major blow. So again, Fox's Hunter Davis has the story. Hey, Pilar, thanks so much for having me. A recent survey released by the Distilled Spirits Council of the U.S. shows sales are down across the industry, leading to some possible closures of distilleries and a lot of layoffs. A place typically packed with people sure sits no empty. Nothing, so it's, it's been a substantial impact to us. Iron Wolf Ranch and Distillery in Spicewood, Texas, is among roughly 2,000 craft distilleries across the country fighting to stay afloat during the coronavirus pandemic. Bars and restaurants are shut down. You know, they can't do anything, so that whole piece of business is gone. Our business on site out here, having people congregate and having social activities and events, that's gone. The only thing left for the distillery is distribution sales and a shift to making hand sanitizer. But sales are still down. I'd say two thirds to three quarters uh, down and that's that's huge. Other distillers are reporting similar drops. A survey shows sales took a 63% hit while about 43% of America's craft distillery employees are out of work. Most of those companies don't say that they aren't going to be able to stay in business longer than you know, a couple of months in most cases, unless something major happens. The owner of Richland Distilling Company in Georgia says sales stopped when the pandemic began. We have had no new orders from any of our distributors out of the 15 states and 11 countries that we work in. But Eric Vonk is still trying to take care of his employees. Basically, uh, we're paying these people out of uh, out of savings, out of our personal savings. Georgia is now reopening, but it's slow going so far. We've had both tasting rooms open and have begun to see, albeit very modest, but we have begun to see some traffic, you know, a few hundred dollars in sales per day per location. Back in Texas, Iron Wolf's owner is hoping to follow suit. And hopefully we can bounce back. I call it the big bounce all the way back to where we were. Now, Iron Wolf did have to lay off all of their employees because of the pandemic. So it's only been a three person operation, just the three owners. Now, they say once they're able to get customers back on site, they do hope to hire at least three employees immediately. Pilar. All right, Hunter Davis reporting and you're in Austin, Texas, right? I am normally a really nice place to be, but we've got some gloomy weather and fortunately things are starting to open back up though and hopefully the weather clears up so we can enjoy it. All right, well, thank you so much, Hunter. Take care, be safe and stay healthy. Guys, I'm absolutely positively enjoying having these Fox Malt